So, what I've got is my pair of Honda 2000s with uh, the ability to pair them together so I can run uh, one of the air conditioners on my travel trailer if I'm you know, out somewhere where they don't have electricity. Got to stay comfortable. But if you saw, they both started up a little hard because I haven't run them in a long time because I rarely, rarely do what I you know, really need them. But if you saw what just happened is this one when it started up and once it goes on to low idle, it doesn't idle well. It kind of pops and sputters and coughs and hacks and wheezes. And that one is still, you know, dead on. I may be able to just demonstrate. stored with exactly the same gas in them with stable and run a 93 octane best I can find they probably have some ethanol in it but even when you know they work they both worked perfectly when I first got them about a year and a half ago but shortly thereafter this one started acting up and I, I mean it'll run has no issues running the camper when I hook them together with that little harness but that's not what it's supposed to do it's supposed to do what that one does and uh, I've had a little bit of experience with these things to find that sometimes when something like that happens or when it doesn't start at all, there's crap in the fuel tank and it gets into the carburetor uh, or in the lines going to it, strangely, uh, because if I recall correctly, there's a pretty significant strainer in these things, which I've never removed to fill it. You know, it takes a little while to fill these because of that strainer, but, you know, even with that, this thing has managed to start acting up on me. So I'm going to see what I can do. I'm going to take it apart, see what there is to see, uh, drain the fuel tank, look in it, and see if I can figure out why she's not idling properly. And if I find something, I may take that one apart preemptively at some point to uh, make sure that, you know, it doesn't have the same issue. And I looked at the carburetor one last time, and I noticed that there's another screw in there. Um, so I pulled up a manual and found out that that's probably where my problem is. There's an idle speed screw, and then underneath that is an idle jet. And if that little idle jet gets plugged with crap, that can cause exactly the issue that I'm having. So we're going to pull this back apart again and see what we can do. So this is the idle speed screw here, and that is the idle jet. So first thing I want to do is get an idea of how far out that is, so we're going to turn it in. One half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, four and a half, Right about four and three quarters. So now we can take that all the way out. Feels like it's just plastic. Yeah, there she goes. Yeah, look at that. And that sure does. Come up. Yeah, that's good. Dump the carburetor all over the place, dummy. Now the drains work.
So there she is. And I guess there's supposed to be a hole through this thing. Which I sure can't see. You see we got a little cross drilled thing here. And some O-rings. There's a hole down there. Yes. Yep. This gold bleeder here, that is the idle air intake, and that is how it breathes. It goes through there into here. And then down into the carburetor. So I'm going to do a little bit more looking at this thing before I start poking at it and see if there's supposed to be a hole in this end going into this little cross drill port. So that was it. Heh, <laughs> who knew? Fairly simple. So if that happens, the idle jet is under your plastic idle stop screw. And uh, I didn't honestly see any gunk. I saw nothing. Uh, there is only one hole going straight through it. And I pulled it out. It looked good. Kind of blew on it a little bit. Lubed up the O-ring. There is only one that I could see, pushed it in real tight, and then uh, set the idle screw back in and it's fired right up and it's idling now. Um, so, for reference, if you ever get into this, let's see, if we can show you, you can reach that by taking the back cover off, And you can see it there underneath that plastic screw. If you push down on it, that may reseat it enough to start your idle again, to get it to idle properly. That may be all you need to do, because I think that's really all I did. There was certainly it wasn't dirty. Uh, people will say that that can, I guess, get gunked up, but mine wasn't. I just, you know, reach in there with a screwdriver. Push, push down on it good. Make sure she's seated as she's supposed to be. And uh, then give it another try. I'll bet that might give you give you some... Oh, not having to tear it apart. So, there you go. Try it again. Fixed.